Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to a Comedy Musician Reacts. I am Insane Ian, I do comedy music and nerdcore hip-hop, and so, of course, I'm reacting to the brand new episode of Epic Rap Battles of History. I'm a big fan of this stuff, I really like what the nice Peter and Epic Lloyd do, and so, uh, going to be checking out the brand new battle that just premiered this weekend, uh, Jacques Cousteau versus Steve Irwin. That's exciting. I'm excited for it. I'm uh, going to try to give maybe a little bit of more of a comedy musician perspective since I am one on this new comedy music. That's what this is all about. So anyway, here we go. Do, do, click and play. I have to say, before they even get started, I love the the red hat that they give him. That's that was the whole Jacques Cousteau. Uh, but they also did uh, the that that Wes Anderson movie with Bill Murray. Kind of was Jacques Cousteau. He was Steve Zissau, which was the same thing. Anyway, uh, so it's already it's nice. Peter's playing Jacques Cousteau, and clearly that's Epic Lloyd as uh, Steve Irwin. Uh, it's going to be a French accent versus an Australian accent. I'm eager to hear how they how they do on the accents. Yeah. I got to take that back because I like that they put the lyrics on there, but the accent combined with me trying to get the thing out of the way, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, take it back to here. The only manatee I don't want to conserve. That's not, you don't pick on the man's weight. That's that's cheap shots, guys. I mean, I know it's a battle rap, but but come on, it's 2019. Don't don't pick on people's weight. Body shaming is it's not cool, guys. It's not cool. I mean, it's a funny line, but it's not cool. Uh, my life aquatic was adventure and beauty. I'm so cool. Bill Murray played me in the movie. I See, there it goes. It's the life aquatic with Steve Zissel, not Jacques Cousteau. Uh, but it's the same thing. Bill Murray played me in the movie. It's it's a reference. I got the reference. I get references. Wait, was he in Doctor Doolittle too? Was Steve Irwin in Doctor Doolittle too? I don't know because I only saw the first one. I didn't know. I mean, there are four Doctor Doolittle movies, not including the original. But yeah, they made a lot of them. There were a lot of more direct video. Anyway. And just to be clear, because I'm no veterinarian. Were you killed by a fish kid's pet at the aquarium? Oh! Oh, that's brutal. Were you killed by a fish kid's pet at the aquarium? It was a stingray, but it got him right in the heart, so that's, that's a low blow. It's a very low blow. He called him out on the low blow in a great Australian accent. Well, I don't know if it's great, but it's amusing. It's an amusing Australian accent. And to do this battle, you have to do the accents, and especially with these guys anyway, because they already kind of do characters every time they do it. They're not just rapping in their normal voices as the characters. They do character voices, they do costumes and all that stuff, and it's great. So, I mean, they're, they're more accustomed to doing it as a video, but even as just an audio performance, they're giving an audio performance. They're giving a performance with the sound and doing the voices and everything, and that kind of helps draw the comedy out a lot easier, I think, is, is if they're, you think you're listening to those actual people doing uh, the, the verses and everything, spitting the bars like that. Uh, 
I will say sometimes when I listen to the songs outside of the videos, I don't remember what the lines are and the lyrics aren't in front of me like it is in the videos. So I don't I miss some lines because of character accents, but uh, it's still great. It's still always great. And he called him out on the low blow. He goes in like he's doing the show. That's great. Look out! He's got the body of a naked mole rat. He's cranky because he has to wear a pop of smirk hat. <laughs> <laughs> Called him out for the hat. That's good. It is red and stupid. And he's wearing a blue shirt, so he just uh, he needs a white beard, and then he's Papa Smurf. I don't know what that face Peter is making, though. It's, I don't. That's a face. Wild man. You're a sub dude. Sub dude. The only crocs you can handle are some slip on shoes. <laughs> The only Crocs you can handle are some slip-on shoes. So far, uh, Steve Irwin's got the best bars, most laughs in the bars so far. Righty, you're such a boring guy. You can make a whole show about the ocean drive. But with the shielders, you sure had fun. Your mistress was as young as your firstborn son. You never should have stepped to the Damn. world. Damn. Defend how embrace your French nature and quietly surrender. <laughs> Embrace your French nature and quietly surrender. Damn. Yes. Yes. Uh, Steve Irwin won that first round. Absolutely. Holy crap. Talk about sons, and watch what you say now. You almost turned yours into Outback Mistake. Whoa. Outback Mistake House. I mean, I get the pun, but I don't. I don't know what Steve Irwin did to his son, so I don't, I don't know that. Oh, damn! Okay. Okay, Jacques Cousteau's brother was a Nazi. Neat. Uh. Hold the D, I'm crocodile done with you. It's okay. He had some okay lines. Very French. Eat the snail named after you with butter. It's very French. He invented scuba, so he brought that again with his breathing apparatus, but nothing great. Nothing great in those bars. Where are you going, fella? Hang on a minute. Like a Joey in a pouch, this ain't quite finished. A <laughs> like a Joey in a pouch, it ain't quite finished. Guess they incubate in there. <laughs> Look how destructive your old films are. Silent Worlds, more like Silent World Star. If you want to count ah. this, please take the reef tour. Don't go throwing C4 on the sea floor. I'm the gold medal rhymer on the podium. Cleaning you up like a Jacques Custodian. Jacques Custodian. Man, some really good lines in Steve Irwin's bars. Not as good lines in, in Jacques. I'm all the nature's greatest conservationist. When I rock the mic, I'm danger, danger, dangerous. I go back down under with your crew. I just blew through you like I did your do. Oh, oh, yeah. Blew through you like a didgeridoo. Yeah, Steve Irwin won that. No contest. Holy crap. That was great. Really, some really funny lines in there. But they were all on Steve Irwin's side. Like, Jacques Cousteau's stuff, one or two hit a little low, but they they weren't as laugh-out-loud funny as as the bars that Steve Irwin spit. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to give it to Steve Irwin. I think that was a much better, uh, much better uh, battle on his end. Uh, the beat is okay. Oh, always have to watch these. I always love those. Oh, that's right. They had a contest with people picking up trash since it's about conservation and this is everybody at the end. Somebody was dressed as John Wick. Picking up trash with ERB stuff. That's very nice. And then somebody dressing as both of them. 
That was pretty great. They put them all in the end of the video there. That's very nice. I remember them mentioning that on on their social media stuff, that they were taking uh, video entries of like a couple seconds and putting them all in the end there. They got a bunch, and that's great. That's, that's nice of them. That's a good community uh, interaction there with their fans. I try to do stuff like that, too. You know, we'll see if that happens. But anyway, that was the uh, Jacques Cousteau versus Steve Irwin epic rap battle of history. Again, Steve Irwin, best lines in it, funniest lines in it, best bars. He clearly won for me. What do you think? Do you think Steve Irwin won, or do you think it was Jacques Cousteau? Uh, leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know. Let me know what you think of this video. You can also go to the description and check out the original video for yourself. Uh, that's all for this time. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.